Mayor Troy Hodge died after that confrontation in Lockport last year. The state attorney general now just released more than an hour's worth of body camera video of this incident. Madison Carter looked through that video for us tonight. She has the latest. Madison. Yeah, Hannah, these five videos were not released because the investigation is closed, but rather because the attorney general feels like it's going to increase public trust and transparency while she continues this investigation. Now, I do need to warn you, and I, I can't stress this enough, this video shows a man's last moments, and it's very disturbing to watch. It started with a call from a mother who says she knew her son had taken something that made him out of sorts. It's coming from so he ain't, he ain't himself. No, and I, it's, you know, it's himself. all for his But own the sake. response that arrived at her Park Avenue home was nothing like what she or even the officers expected. Mom called us to try to get him some help. Yeah. You know, we went there to try to help him, and, you know, that's what we were trying to do. It didn't go exactly, you know the best way it could have. Audio from the aftermath alleges Hodge had weapons in the home. He was just running around talking about a shotgun and um, had a knife with him. So. In five videos released to the public Friday by the AG's office, we only see what's happening from the perspective of officers responding as backup in the aftermath of Hodge's death. When backup arrives, video shows at least five officers already pinning Hodge to the ground. At one point, as Hodge lays on the ground with an officer not just pinning him, but standing on his body, he can be heard moaning and begging for his life. Three minutes later is the last time Hodge can be heard on camera. And about 60 seconds after that is the last time we see him move. Approximately seven minutes after Hodge asks for his life, his mother watches from the step, understanding even before the responding officers what had just happened. He's not Hodge was taken unresponsive in the ambulance as his mother stood behind, calmly asking officers what they had done. You shouldn't have choked him. I'm not saying you police choked him, but somebody choked my child. He's out of it. So what you gave him to make him out of it. And why did you just grab his face like that to him? I understand, officer. That's why I tell you, don't kill my child. Just so incredibly difficult to watch. The attorney general's office, again, as I mentioned, is not done investigating this case. And Lockport's mayor, Michelle Roman, actually released a statement after the video came out today saying she opposes its release because the investigation is not complete and it's only partial video, as I mentioned, just of the responding officers. She also said Hodge's family didn't have a say in whether that video came out. You can watch all of that and read her full statement right now on our website. For now, reporting live in the newsroom, Madison Carter, 7 Eyewitness News. Incredibly difficult to watch and hear. Madison, thank you.